Hey guys, welcome to Silver Lake. This is kind of the second part of the eclipse video where we uh, checked uh, these couple of hives. These hives have two double deep frames in the middle, so I'm going to check check them and see uh, what's going on and how they uh, did through the winter. The reason, for those of you that don't know, uh, I put two f double uh, deep frames in the middle of the hive as experiment uh, to see if the cluster is going to be in the middle so uh, to prevent isolation starvation and also to, prov to provide thick honey domes above the, the winter cluster so I'm going to check uh, a couple hives and see that uh, those two frames uh, have purpose like for the future winter configuration usually I do two deep boxes without uh, double deep frames in the middle but uh, hopefully this helps correct some of the clustering positions and provides uh, a honey dome and a lot more food than regular frames. Uh, another reason is to use double deep frames is because they uh, like you know the brood on the single uh, on a single deep frame looks uh, kind of half circle but uh, this way it's it's round and queen continues laying over and over and provides a lot more space so that prevents uh, urge for swarming that you don't have to do high reversal you don't have to reverse the boxes because those frames bees will always be you know brood will be um, kind of in the middle of two boxes uh, in the not instead of uh, queen moving to the top box and laying only top box and then you have to reverse put the uh, bottom one on the top and then later reverse again this way she's always in the middle of those two frames laying continuously in the middle of the box so we'll check how that works We have some new nectar coming in in this frame. And the last frame, probably honey. Okay, the last frame is all honey. Okay, let's check these double the frames. Yes, they're doing. Uh, I did half half the frame. I put uh, one plastic foundation on the top, so they're they're doing worker brood on this one, and then second half they are doing drone brood so actually this is a good way to control a natural way to control varroa mites so right now I'm gonna cut cut uh, the bottom part because most of the varroa mites will be kept uh, under the, the, the drone brood
Okay, let's check it a second. So we left two, two of these big frames throughout the winter. So the second frame is all eggs. Uh, and we saw the queen. There's a lot of bees in this hive. There's also eggs in this one. And we have honey and pollen. Some capped honey too. Honey on this one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this hive, I'm gonna shake these uh, two two deep frames and move them to. Uh, I'm gonna have ten of these double deep throughout uh, till fall. So I'm gonna move these uh, double deep frames and convert this hive back to original uh, two box deep hive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some of the hives in these double deep frames. So I'm going to have 10 of those and this is going to be the setup till fall. And then when the fall comes I'm going to take, make five regular uh, double deep boxes with two frames in the middle of each. But for now I'm going to have 10 of these double deep frames in one hive. So basically what I'm going to do is go uh, through five of these double uh, deep frames in the middle and then shake the bees uh, from all these frames and then make uh, from five I'm going to make one, one, uh, one full high with double deeps if that makes sense. This one. Yeah, they're bringing in nectar and pollen. Same thing. A lot of new pollen. You can see here. Oh, there's queen. It's queen right there. Empty cup. Okay. So, let's check these double frames. Okay. So we have brood continuously going. What we have uh, a little bit spotty brood is because we have this cold weather. Last couple of weeks was really cold. So uh, queens stopped laying for a little bit. have same same deal uh, with drone on the uh, bottom half so we're gonna cut that out when it's capped so basically uh, with removing these two double D frames I'm gonna add four plastic foundation on the side and this is gonna be my expansion box uh, for this side and I'm going to continue finding three more 
uh, hives with double deeps, and this is going to be 10, 10, frame, uh, 10 frames of double deeps. So this till uh, August, I'm going to run 10 of these double deep frames. And this is for brood only, not uh, for honey. Honey is going to go on regular deep, deep boxes, or you know, honey supers. We'll see. So, yeah, that's for the double deep frames. Um, I'm going to continue uh, making these videos and show you different setups. Mm -hmm. This video is just uh, to show you about double double deep frames and what I do with them uh, mm -hmm. after they come out, out of winter. So they go, uh, some of the hives, they go in the winter with two, two of them in the middle. And then when in the spring, I remove those two and put, put them into uh, two boxes and then 10 of these frames. And this is going to be my setup like for the whole year. And these uh, go back to regular hives. So I'll keep you updated. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.